Yo, what's poppin'? It's me, Josh, here again. I hope you had a fantastic week. This video is related to a question received from the man himself, Derek Stark. Shout out to Derek Stark. So Derek asked if I can make a video on perseverance and grit and maybe give a few pointers for some people that are struggling with those barriers. So here's a few things that work for me. All right, first thing I like to do, I like to surround myself with motivated and driven people. In fact, most of the people I hang out with are all successful in their own way. There are plenty of days where I feel a lack of motivation. I don't really want to get up and and work towards my goals, I feel lazy. Then what happens is I see one of my friends that are so driven, they're actively getting up and working towards their goals. It motivates me to get up and do the same thing. There's a specific quote, I can't remember who said it, but they said that you're an average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you're hanging out with a lot of lazy or unmotivated or negative pessimistic people, you're probably gonna start adopting some of those traits. The same goes vice versa. If you're always hanging around positive, motivated, and driven and hardworking people, you're gonna start to become that. But I think if you wanna be more successful, if you wanna be more motivated, if you wanna be more driven, try to surround yourself with people that exhibit those traits because it can inspire you to be the same. Next thing, making a list of goals for yourself. Now, I've heard this phrase a lot, make goals, you know, make a list of goals, but I've recently started to find the value in doing this. See, I recently put together a three-year plan of what I wanna achieve in the next few years of my life. And I'm making it a point to review those goals on a regular basis. I won't say that I do it every day. But I try to do it at least like every other day. And I found that doing that helps keep me focused. It helps remind myself of what I'm working for in the first place. And yeah, it gives me a sense of direction. And everybody kind of goes about this differently. You know, some people actually like to write their goals out and have it you know, right in front of them, they can visually see it. Some people think of it you know, in their heads. It's all up to you. Find what works for you, but the main point I'm trying to get across that you need to find a way to remind yourself of the goals you're working towards because I can keep motivating you to keep working hard. All right, next thing I want to point out is that laziness or feeling uninspired or unmotivated is common. So don't beat yourself up for feeling that way. Those feelings are common. And I will say this, no matter how hard you're working, no matter how hard you're striving towards your goals, there's nothing wrong with taking breaks. Cut yourself a little bit of slack. There's nothing wrong with having a day here and there where you're just doing nothing. I kind of look at it like this. I look at us humans as like a massive battery. Okay, look at us like a massive battery. And we, as batteries, are capable of producing a lot of energy. We can put forth a lot of force and a lot of energy and a lot of power. But at times, we run out of juice, okay? We need to recharge, because if we don't recharge, we're not gonna be able to put forth that much energy or that much power. When we fail to take time to recharge or to recuperate, we are less efficient and less effective in what we do. This actually happened to me at one point. I was refusing to take a break, and I just kept working, I just kept working, I was getting tired, I was getting bogged down, and then all of my output was mediocre at best. It, it wasn't the best work I could have possibly done. The feelings of being tired or unmotivated or uninspired aren't necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it's just your body or your, your spirit telling you that it needs a break. So listen to that. All right, last point I wanna say, I think it's very important. Save yourself some time and energy by studying the game. What do I mean by that? I mean, whatever it is you're into, you know, working out, uh, starting a business, uh, music, comedy, whatever it is. Study the game by learning from successful people before you. Learn from their mistakes so you can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of energy in the long run. For example, I was watching an interview with Kevin Hart and he's talking to Oprah. And he told Oprah that when it comes to success, every successful person in your line of work before you their lives are a blueprint for success, okay? Everyone's blueprint's different, but if you analyze all of their blueprints, you're gonna notice similarities. If you apply these similarities to your life, you're gonna see similar results. So learn from people that came before you, learn from their own mistakes so you don't make the same mistakes, and apply some of the lessons that they learned in their lives, apply some of their wisdom to yourself. And doing so will save you a lot of, a lot of mental strain, a lot of effort, a lot of time because you're working smarter. It's important to work hard, but you gotta make sure you work smart because working smart saves your motivation. You don't burn it all out. And you see a lot more return on the efforts you're putting out. This concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. You already know what it is. Leave your comments below as well. I love to read your comments. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned before, if there's any specific topic you want me to talk about, make sure you leave those comments down below. Let me know down below in the comments and I might make a video on it. But anyway, that's it for me. Look, I don't want to talk too much, all right? But go out, have a fantastic rest of your day and even better rest of your week, all right? Talk to you soon. Peace.